The Age of Triumph patch is finally out, and I will now read through all the patch notes in some timely fashion. For raids, a raid playlist is now available. Recommended light level will be 390. You will be able to get new weapons, armor, ornaments, ghosts, sparrows, shaders, and emblems in there. Players will receive one Age of Triumph armor ornament for successful completion of the featured raid once per week per account. So you can't farm it on other characters. Just complete it once and you can get your little ornament. All challenge modes are enabled on the weekly featured raid. Players will receive one Age of Triumph armor ornament token for successful completion of the challenge modes once per character per challenge mode per week. That's where the uh, real ornament farm will be. Players will also receive a Knuckles of Ao by completing a featured raid's opening encounter once per week per account. Use Knuckles of Ao to then defeat the raid boss in the weekly featured players to receive extra rewards. Knuckles of Ao consumable stacks to a maximum of five. So basically, this is something that will allow you to get extra drops if maybe you didn't like your uh, your, your drops or use them. And then defeat. Never mind. Pop this before you defeat a raid boss, and then you'll get more stuff. Three of coins should now activate on the following bosses. Templar, Atheon, Iriute, and Crota, because they didn't beforehand. For some reason, I think they were only counted as, like, majors. It was weird. They added an Atheon challenge mode, or they added challenge modes to Atheon, Templar, Iriute, and Crota. They fixed an issue where killing Iriute would not always end the Death Singer encounter and players would have to deal with infinitely respawning knights. Remember how the knights never despawned? Apparently that was an issue. <laughs> it took them three years to fix that one. I'm glad they finally fixed that though, because that would be super annoying to go through. They removed a condition that prevented fire teams of less than three from progressing past the Gorgons and the Vault of Glass. I do remember that happening. Fix an issue where one of the door switches in the second Vosk encounter was partially obscured by the wall and difficult to hit with a Siva charge. For the Crucible, there's a lot of Crucible. As you guys know, the um, the activities were trimmed down. Now there's only six activities. There's There are five nodes when you select Crucible, and then a weekly featured Crucible. The first node will have Control and Clash rotating. The second one, Rift and Supremacy rotating. The third one will be Elimination and Trials, and then Elimination during the week, Trials during weekend only. Node four will be Skirmish and Salvage. Node five will be Rumble and Rumble Supremacy. And the weekly featured Crucible activities will be in one playlist, and that will include Combined Arms, Zone Control, Mayhem Clash, Mayhem Rumble, Doubles. Classic playlists have also just been removed. Players who do not own Rise of Iron can now access the weekly featured Crucible activity. So if you don't own Rise of Iron and you still want to play PvP, weekly featured Crucible activity, that's what you gotta do. Crucible bounties have been updated as well to be more inclusive, no longer requiring specific subclasses or fire teams, which is great because that was kind of annoying for a solo player. Added new weekly Crucible bounties into the Crucible Quartermaster, and these rewards can be like Crucible Vendor, Crucible Playlist, Iron Banner, Trials of Osiris. There's a lot of rewards from there. Uh, Lord Shax will now offer his weekly bounty for both available 6v6 modes each week. Trials of Osiris bounties have been updated as well. The existing bounties will remain in your inventory and can be, can be completed to acquire their respective rewards. The new versions of the bounties will now be offered by Brother Vance and can be completed daily when Trials of Osiris is active. Armor and weapon rewards from bounties updated in, to include all non-adept year 3 items. Yay! That was one of the reasons why a lot of people didn't run trials. They couldn't get the year three trials rewards. For quests, the Crucible quest chain from Lord Chax has been removed. Sad face, but it's okay. The thing was really long, and you got a kind of a poopy rocket launcher from it. You can complete the current quest you are on, but you will not be able to acquire the next chain. So, sorry. Iron Banner, Dusty Iron Engrams. It decrypt immediately, Dusty Iron Engrams. Iron Banner match rewards updated to include Year 2 Iron Companion armor. Slightly increase the chance for Year 1 and Year 2 armor rewards from Iron Banner matches. I think I only got one Year 1 armor piece during all of Rise of Iron so far, so that's good to see. Support added for Iron Banner Mayhem Clash. Oh, oh, that will be fun. Some vendor items on Everdeed have also had their roles updated. Cool, because some of them were really bad. For Trials of Osiris, they fixed an issue where a player on the surviving team could use Fireboard to cause the round to continue even when enemies were dead. Yeah, that was always sad to see happen, especially when the enemy team just teabagged you for an extra 30 plus seconds. Some general changes to Crucible made special ammo crates instantly refill your special weapon on pickup, which is awesome, because now you don't have to just reload your weapon. Disable join in progress for Rumble playlist if any player has at least 100 points. 
it's going to kind of suck because if people start leaving Rumble, it's going to turn into like a 1v1 for a very long time. Private matches, they removed power and vehicle options and they added ammo respawn options. This is really great. Private matches, you will be able to set default spawns. No special, no heavy, or no ammo crates entirely. You will also be able to change respawns to have teammate revives. Instant, after 3 seconds, after 5, and after 10 seconds. Vehicles are now enabled on maps that support them except the Inferno modes. And round time options have been adjusted for elimination to default to 90 seconds to match the playlist setting. They also fixed an issue on Icarus and Skyland where you get out of the map. For patrols, some patrols have been fixed so you can actually collect the items that drop. For Grimoire, SRL Racing can now be earned from private matches using the Sparrow Racing game type. Players who have acquired the Year 3 Kvasov will be awarded all Grimoire cards for the Kvasov Manual, including pages 1, 5, and 17 upon entering orbit, which is good because they haven't actually... Yeah, <laughs> I'm still missing those. Players will now be awarded with the Year 1 Icebreaker Grimoire card upon acquiring the Year 3 Icebreaker. Players who already have it will get the card when they go to orbit. For sandbox changes, the health region changes that was kind of a bug, but not really a bug. Uh, some of them have been reverted. Soros, no backup plans, Ward of Dawn, Apotheosis Veil, and Embrace the Void have all had their changes reverted. However, Hungering Blade Transfusion... Cauterize, Red Death, and Life Seal have had their that change kept onto them. However, Transfusion will not have a cooldown anymore, and Cauterize will not have a cooldown anymore. Also, uh, the Health Shield will go up from 36 to 57. Awesome. Memory of Scory will now require a kill to start working and will charge supers for one minute or until the round ends or the player dies. Sidearms will no longer allow ammo to stack through death and you'll only get a single magazine on respawn, so no more just using sidearms. They added one round to Truth's maximum inventory, increase, increase the reload speed, added more flinch no, no land beyond, so hopefully you can actually get flinched by it. Recovery reduction was removed from Blink Talent Grid nodes, and and the player uh, can uh, now keep their HUD up slightly longer. Hand cannon range falloff now starts at 3 meters earlier. Sad face. Auto rifles minimum damage, so the damage done at maximum range has been increased by 7%. Kills with Necrochasm no longer require headshots to explode enemies. Yay! Enemies such as uh, uh, Shanks and Wizards do not explode. Patrick, edit that out. I'll, I'll get to that sub in a second, sorry. Increase the recovery given by Ashside versus move to survive perk from plus three to plus seven, so it does something now, yay! Fix an issue where the rescue mag perk would replenish ammunition when taking self-damage. Fix, uh, fix an issue where it changes the shotgun. Uh, basically, shotguns didn't get some of their changes, and they got, they got applied to them. Strikes. Daybreak modifier will now be um, in the nightfall, sometimes. Nightfall blue flames have returned, and you will be able to get the increased XP and reputation bonus from it. More aggressively idle player detection now in line with Crucible activity. So hopefully PvE players will get booted for being AFK, because God, it takes forever to boot them in PvE. Fix an issue in the Nexus where the Aegis would be continuously deleted and respawned. Fix an issue in the Shadow Thief where players get the joining allies message while in the playable space during the fight with Tanix. For vendors, there's a ton of vendor upgrades here. God, this is a this is a big patch. Increase the reputation awarded with the gunsmith. Yay! Increase or Eris Mord will now accept moldering shards and charge antiquated runes as donations in exchange for Crota's Bane Rep. Adjusted the price of ammo synths from Eris Morn, because God, they were expensive. Shiro 4 will now accept the ice and fire tokens, which you get those from completing the Wrath of the Machine raid, and you will get 500 Vanguard Rep for turning those into him. The Crucible Quartermaster now sells ammo synths consumables in exchange for Hadium Flakes. Vendor items sold for legendary marks have had their light levels increased to 380. That's up from, I think, 350? Something like that. Uh, vendors selling level 40 legendary armor and weapons now update perks and stats on the weekly reset. The Vanguard, Crucible, Lord Shacks, Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, and Future Warcode will, will all have their inventories updated. Well, the perks on the inventories, at least. Zern now sells two new exotic weapon bundles each week in addition to his regular weekly sale items. Now would probably be a good time to say I'm not doing Zerv videos anymore. And of course, something finally comes to him and... Uh, yeah, not gonna not gonna be doing that anymore. My health, uh, my health. I, I I like my health being healthy. And waking up at four a.m. No, thank you. Each bundle will cost thirty strange coins and twenty-five silver dust, and contains one exotic weapon and one matching weapon ornament. So that's cool. 
Two new emotes are available for the emote kiosk, please and thanks. Adjusted the rarity of certain ships from Amanda Holiday, <laughs> so we won't have any more two years uh, going without uh, getting certain ships. Silver Dust Store, as you guys know, you can basically get everything that there ever was in the game now for Silver Dust. That's a lot of stuff to go over, but if there's something in the game, you can probably get it from Silver Dust now, except like raid drops and things like that. Eververse, treasure, Treasures of the Ages, uh, basically everything that's ever been sold will come from these Treasures of the Ages. Players can receive up to three of them uh, per week on their first completion of, the, of Heroic Strikes, Weekly Crucible Playlist, and Weekly Story Playlist. And some small general issues, if you play with someone on the same local network, uh, join fire teams, that should be easier now. Fix an issue preventing uh, dropped engrams, going to the Postmaster, uh, some of the bugs that cause sniper rifles to become invisible. They fix that. They fix the infinite super glitch, which is very sad, but you had your chance to do it. It was it was a fun time. Twilight Garrison now accepts shaders, and the very final part of the patch, skeleton keys and Siva fragments may now appear at the postmaster to prevent an issue where items have been removed from character inventory. Oh my god, that patch was huge. I gotta go play the I gotta go play it, guys, later. <laughs>